Well, hello everyone, it's Casey Washington and it's Wednesday. It's Wellness Wednesday. Well, guess what? We are doing a Wellness Wednesday Wonderings live, y'all. We are live. So I hope that uh, you all can join us every other Wednesday for different topics. I hope that you all uh, can send me some ideas and things for different topics. Um, so I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to wait and see if there are some people who are going to join us, hopefully. Um, so how was everyone's day? It's a Wednesday evening. It's about 7 o'clock Central Time, about 8 o'clock. Eastern time. So for those of you who don't know, I am Casey Washington. And every Wednesday, I usually do a reel on Facebook and on Instagram. And it's called the Wellness Wednesday Tip of the Day. Or <laughs> sometimes it's just suggestions and, and tips and thoughts. And it's whatever we want it to be on that day. So somebody said, well, why don't you just do um, a biweekly kind of live to talk about different topics about wellness? And there will be times when it's just me and there will be times when we have guests too. But today uh, I'm just doing this alone and hopefully uh, people will chime in and they will, uh, they will answer me in the chat, ask questions or whatever. But today's topic is, why is it so difficult to say the word no? That's a good question. It's funny because I was thinking about this topic. Why is it so difficult to say the word no? Because we know when kids are like two years old, you know, that when, they, when they're in that no stage and they have no problem saying no, would you like, no, is cannot, no, <laughs> they have no problem saying no. But as we get older, of course, uh, it's hard to say no. And uh, I did a little research just trying to find out why is it so hard for, uh, for people to say no. But some people, it's not, easy, it's not hard at all. They'll just come right out and say it. They will say, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> My answer is no, and I'm sticking to it. So you're going to see this little piece of sun that is just like following my face. The sun is going down here. And uh, I was trying to adjust stuff so that you wouldn't get that little streak, but it's following me. So anyway, we're going to get started um, on why it's so difficult for people to say no. If you have comments, and, and please put them in the chat. Hopefully I will see them. So why is it so difficult to say the word no? I know I've had a hard time saying it to some people for some things, but I'm getting better at it And when uh, I know that I can't, my bandwidth is just not strong enough to do that. So here are a few reasons why it is so difficult to say no. First, Fear of conflict. Now, you know, a lot of us, we just don't like conflict. We don't like to um, be at war with people, especially people we care about or our coworkers, anything. So the fear of conflict is one reason that it's so difficult for people to say no. I know I've had that where I just, you know, I don't want to fight. <laughs> I don't want to have an argument. I don't want to have to plead my case of why I said no. I just want to say no and call it a day. So I'm going to try to move so I can. Hey, Shirley, good to see you. So the topic today, Shirley, is why is it so difficult to say the word no? I know a lot of people have a hard time saying that. So the first reason we said is that people uh, fear con conflict. If they say no, they don't want to have an argument. They don't want to have to scream and shout why they are exactly uh, why they said no. Sometimes people don't want to accept that you say no. So they just want to be like, why? Well, you don't do this for me. And now, that, you know, and it goes back and forth. So fear of conflict is one. Another reason 
that people have a hard time saying no is we don't want others to be angry at us. You know, our friends, our uh, loved ones, we don't want them to be angry. We don't want anybody feeling like, oh, you know, I don't want to feel like some, uh, that someone's angry at me. For some people, I don't care. But if you're angry, angry at me and I care about you, then that's a different story. So we don't, that's the reason to fear of conflict and we don't want others to be mad at us. The third uh, reason that it is so difficult to say no for some is that we don't want to disappoint others or hurt someone's feelings. Uh, for example, uh, I was, we want to please people. Yes, Shirley, we do. So I was reading something about a guy who wasn't quite ready to pr propose to his uh, girlfriend but she kept bringing it up, you know, like it's time, it's time. And he went and did it anyway because he didn't want to hurt her feelings. He didn't want to say, no, it's not time. Instead, he just said, okay, I'm going to propose to you. I don't know if that's a good idea, but he did it. But yeah, sometimes we just don't want to disappoint or hurt others, uh, especially people that we care about and that we know. A fourth reason is, you know, we want to fit in. We want to belong. I don't care how old people, well, I take that back. Senior citizens, they don't care. Hey, if you like me good, if you don't, hey, so what? But a lot of times people want to fit in or they want to belong to, you know, their, their a group or their clique or their tribe, their soror, their sorority, their fraternity. They want to feel like I belong somewhere. I want to fit right in with these people. So, you know, you might say yes to some stuff that you really don't want to do because you want to fit in to that group. And especially students, uh, children, uh, middle, when they get in middle school and high school, they definitely will do some crazy stuff sometimes uh, where common sense goes out the window so that they can fit in. So they'll say yes to some stuff, despite what, as parents, we might have taught them their friends mean more at that point, and they will do stuff to fit in instead of saying no. And the next reason is, especially at work, we don't want to rock the boat by saying no. We definitely don't want our bosses looking at us like this <laughs> when, uh, uh, when we say no. When the boss gives you a directive and you know it's just not a fitting what you want to do or what you think is best. You don't want to say no, because that's your job. That's your livelihood. Unless, you know, you got a strong union <laughs> or something and you can say no to some things. Right, Cheryl? Exactly. When you're on a job, you don't want to rock that boat. But then you got some people who are like, hey, we're going to rock this boat and we're going to see where it's going to take us. But you, if you have a strong personality if you do that, and you better stand on it and know that you're right. So those are our reasons. Fear of conflict. We don't want to hurt others. We don't want others to be angry at us. We want to fit in. And we, want, we don't want to rock the boat. So I read some quotes about saying no. So first one, Steve Jobs, he said... <laughs> Focusing, focusing is about saying no. So I was like, oh, focusing is about saying no. Well, I guess he was saying in order for you to focus on what you need to do and what's best for you, whether it's personal or professional, you are going to have to say no to some people. Yeah. It's not about others sometimes. It's about your mission and what you need to do in your personal and, and professional life. Now, Warren Buffett, we all know him. He's worth like billions, right? Uh, he said, we need to learn the slow yes and the quick no. So that means, look, let me think about that for a minute. Uh, I'll get back to you. Before I say yes, let me figure this out. And sometimes you just have to say right away, no. Can I? Nope. <laughs> Can I change your mind? Nope. <laughs> just no. No. Take that and no means no. N-O. It's a small word, but it's a powerful word. No. Now, Tony Blair, who used to be uh, the prime minister of uh, Great Britain, he said the art of leadership is saying no, not saying yes. 
it is very easy to say yes, but very difficult to say no. So all of you who are in leadership roles know that uh, saying no is like, like an art. Sometimes you have to tell people, no, that's not my vision. No, that's not my mission. That's not going to take us where we need to go. So those are some very interesting quotes, you know, and these were all by successful people. It's okay to say no, y'all. It's okay. So my sisters, my sisters, ladies, ladies, guess what? We struggle the most with saying no. Are you surprised by that? Uh, probably not. Yeah, as, as women, we are quick to think that we should not say no. And part of the reasons that that is so, and, and I can look at myself and reflect. Well, you say, nope, <laughs> nope. Which with an exclamation point, uh, Shirley said, nope. <laughs> so yes, women <laughs> struggle the most. I know Shirley very well, so I know she can say nope. <laughs> uh, the reasons can range from not wanting to piss people off to, to sometimes just protecting the ego, especially protecting the ego of men that we know uh, that, you know, you don't want, suppose you don't want to go out with someone. So you're like, well, let me think about it so that you don't hurt his ego. But it's better to just go ahead and say no. Now, and I think people, as we get older, we learn that uh, no, if someone's asking you out and you have no, no intention of wanting to go out with that person as a woman, later we start to learn, no, no, bro, you're not, uh, no, we can't go out. But yeah, the reasons women will quickly say yes, they don't want to piss people off or they want to stroke the ego sometimes. And I see that Arletha has come on. So hello, hello. And then I was reading that women, we have been taught mixed messages about saying no. Um, and that's interesting uh, that we have been taught that we have to value other people's needs more than our own or we have to value other people's feelings more than our own. So we're always putting people above us and what we're feeling, uh, whether it's right or wrong for us. So we don't say no, but some, we learn, we learn from experience. At least most of us do. There's some who still, you know, you have to keep, they keep learning those hard lessons, but sometimes you just have to say, Hey, it's not good for me. No. The other thing, um, we are socialized. As women, we are socialized to be nice and we are socialized to try to please others. So we tend to remove that word of no away out of our vocabulary. Not a good thing to learn, but that tends to happen. Oh, yes, in order to be a lady, you have to be nice. You can be a lady and say no. It's all in the delivery, right? So don't teach our daughters that you have to always be nice. Sometimes there are reasons why you're going to be mean. There are reasons and there are reasons that you can justify to be mean. So again, let's, let's be uh, cognizant of what we teach our daughters. So again, all right. So let's talk about techniques for getting better at saying no. All right. Uh, and some you might do. And sometimes, you know, we just have to practice these things. So sometimes we have to practice saying no to the small things first, uh, some unimportant situations so that you don't feel so bad when it's some serious stuff and you can't say no. So if you practice, no, I better not buy that thing at Ross that I see and I know I shouldn't and I know I don't. I have money, but I really shouldn't be spending. I don't need another thing in my closet. So I'll just say no and walk on out the store. Practice, y'all. Practice. And I know that's hard. <laughs> Before you say yes, stop and breathe. Stop and breathe. Before you say yes. Just to give yourself some space, give yourself some time uh, and the opportunity to assess the situation before you respond. Uh, and it's for your own good. Stop. So you just tell them, you know, I need time to think about that. 
it's such an emergency, then, you know, maybe you can move on to the next person. But right now, my answer is, uh, is no. And sometimes you have to ask for advice. You know, should I do that? If you have support systems, talk to people and say, this person asked me. A good one. <laughs> Shirley said, good luck with that at Ross and telling yourself to walk out the store. <laughs> or Ross, TJ Maxx, what's the other one? Marshalls, in, anywhere, any store, the shoe store. Oh my God. Yes, yes. Good luck. Good luck. But anyway, <laughs> and when the salesperson said, well, everybody likes this one, then my next th thing of advice is don't be fooled by the word everybody else, everyone else is probably, it's not always true that everybody else, but a great salesperson will make you think that is true. So don't be fooled by that. Everybody else, everyone else is buying, everybody else is doing it. Well, it's okay. Let them do it, right? <laughs> so uh, the other, the next word of advice, I'm still laughing about the Ross thing. Yeah, because I just picture myself. For me, let me tell you, I have to say no to potato chips because I love them, especially salt and vinegar. So when I go in the store, the grocery store, I try not to go down that aisle. But you know, sometimes I'm shopping for my mom and she wants some snacks and then I got to go down that aisle. So I'm walking past the potato chips like, nope, nope, keep walking. <laughs> You're on a mission. Stay on that mission. No. Next word of advice. Take a minute to ask yourself how bad the guilt and anxiety and dis disappointment of others' emotions uh, you, you, may, you might feel if you don't do whatever they're asking you to do. You know, just assessing. Assess. Assess the fallout. If I say no, how bad is it going to be? Are they going to disown me? Probably not. No, they're not going to disown you. So assess it. Is it worth it to give in? If it's not worth it to give in, then don't. Life keeps moving and they'll be they'll be a OK unless it's a life and death situation. You know, you don't want that guilt on you. But if it's not a life and death situation or <laughs> when your friends and relatives ask you for money, you probably should say no. Or they ask, can they borrow it? Now, if you can't give it away and you don't have the space or you don't have enough to, to give it away, then you probably shouldn't be borrowing it either. They shouldn't be borrowed. You shouldn't, you ain't going to get it back. Okay. You're just not going to get it back. All right. So remember, if you say no, guess what? You can change your mind. And you can call them back later and say, you know, I changed my mind. I think I'll let you, I'll let you have this. I'll, I'll do this for you. You can change your mind. It's nothing wrong with that. We all have days when we're, First response is no. Then you think about it and you say, okay, I can do it. There's always time to, to do that. If they need it like that, then they probably need to go to somebody else. So remember that. And then finally, sometimes, remember sometimes, yes is the good answer, is a better answer, but talk it out. Talk it out with the person. Find all of the specifics. Be, and, and have them answer all the questions that you need to be answered. Don't just say, okay, because you are my sister, because you are my best friend, then I'm going to give, I'm going to say yes. Mm -mm. Don't do that. Don't do that. So those are, those are the tips. Remember practicing to say no, stop and breathe before you say yes. Don't be fooled by everybody else is doing it. Ask for advice, seek support. Take a minute to ask yourself, how bad will it be if I say no? Just how bad will it be? And then assess the fallout. What are they going to do to me if I say no? Life goes on and you can change your mind if you want to. It's all about you sometimes. You can change your mind. So those are my tips. So think about why you can't say no. I know a few people on this on, on this call, <laughs> on this FB Live, who have no problem saying saying no. Shirley, Arletha, and probably a couple other people have no problem saying no for whatever reason. And they will stand by it. Shirley says nothing. <laughs> nothing, nothing. So does anybody else have any uh 
any tips on how we can say no without feeling any guilt? Any tips? Since Shirley said nothing, <laughs> and I think for Shirley, that's just probably years of experience, especially in her in her profession. And even Arlita said, that's right, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. So I'm going to emulate them one day, but I'm pretty good at it now. No, no. But that's after years of saying yes and finding out that that's not always the right answer. So that is our Wellness Wednesday wonderings for today. And I want to thank uh, all of the people, my viewers who came on and supported this first edition so uh, we hope to see you in a couple of weeks. And if you have suggestions for any new or different topics that you want to discuss, just put them in the chat or you can send me a private a DM on Facebook and uh, we'll talk about it. So that is the Wellness Wednesday Wonderings for today. Have a good night, everybody. Bye.